You all right? I know. It's not my place. I feel like I'm pushing an elephant up a mountain. That's probably not too far from the truth. How would you know you pushed any elephants lately? Well, I know it's damn hard to make them smile. You had better not be calling me an elephant. <laughs> Surely he'll come around eventually. He's a very stubborn man. Ironically, it's one of the reasons I fell in love with him. Once he'd made up his mind about something, I always felt so safe and secure in knowing where we were headed. Trouble is, I'm not too fond of the current destination. Well, nothing's unchangeable, Natalie. I was in love with a woman once. She was in an accident. She became severely disfigured. And after that, she refused to see me. What happened? I gave up. I stopped trying. And then one day, out of the blue, I get a phone call. She wants to see me. She came back to you? Well, I guess she just needed that time away to realize that she was still the same beautiful person she'd always been. I know things can't go back to the way they were, but... Maybe you need to try a different approach. Sometimes we men aren't very good at appreciating what we've got until we think we're losing it. In the state of mind, it wouldn't matter what I did. Maybe you're the fight he needs. Well, something's got to give, and I don't want it to be me from a nervous breakdown. I bet all he needs is a little nudge. Hmm. I'd better go back in. Well, I'm always here if you uh, need to chat. Thanks for listening. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably be in a psychiatric ward. <laughs> everything, sweetheart.
What's that? It's a festival of drunken revelry. I think he's going to be all right. A few hours sleep. Yeah. Listen, my tennis partner canceled. Called in sick. Can I interest you in an old-fashioned bike ride? Oh, I'd pretend I actually have a real life. Mm. You know what? I would love to. Just give me a moment to check. I'll meet you out front. So how's your friend? <laughs> I thought as much. I've been found out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <gasps> Do you perform that spectacle for all of your cycling companions? Oh, just haven't finished training these ones yet. Beautiful day. It's nice to see you enjoying yourself. You should drag me out more often. Is that what it takes to get a girl out nowadays? <laughs> Don't you know what it takes? Well, my bosses work me so hard, my social skills are getting rusty. <laughs> Would you care for some refreshments? Sure. I'm used to moor a boat over there. Where is it now? Oh, David never had time to use it. I've done some ocean sailing. Maybe we could go out sometime. As long as your friend gets seasick and is unable to tend. <laughs> Goes without saying. doesn't change the way I feel about you. Is there any chance? Chance for what? For us. I'm falling in love with you, Natalie. You're sweet. Consider it very charming. But there is no us. I thought you felt the same way. I deserve to be true to myself, and the, the truth is I'm still in love with my husband. I want to give you what you need. Oh, I'm very flattered. <laughs> Lord knows my self-esteem could use the boost. I'm afraid that he'll take you down with him. David is going through a rough time at the moment. I need to make sure that I am doing my part. Have you done enough? Enough? No. Okay. You're very important to me, Jack. But I love my husband. David, what are you doing? Are you trying to kill yourself? I'd like to speak to my wife alone. All right, I'll be outside. 